about two films that really speak to life on the river. Nahat Marsh is hosting a film premiere next week at the Putnam Museum. One is the Emmy Award winning Mississippi Tales of a River Rat, and the other is Resurrecting the Wetlands, the story of Nahat Marsh. And the director of that one, Harry Walker, joins me now, along with Brian Ritter from Nahat Marsh. Brian and Harry, congrats on this. How exciting. So this one's coming out about the wetlands. That's really our local baby here. That's right. Yeah, Brian, tell us about this. Well, we, we've been in the planning stages of this for two years now. We, we have lots of great footage and photographs that we've collected over the years. And more importantly, the, the story of Nahant Marsh is just so fascinating. There, there's actually been three towns that kind of came and went in that area that we uncovered through our research. And we needed somebody to help us tell the story, so we approached Harry and um, he he put our dream to reality. So. Well, as we look at, at some of your work here, Harry, how did you how did you bring it to life on screen? Well, we had uh, a lot of collaboration between the people that worked at the marsh. I mean, we have tons of researchers, and basically they just gave me all this stuff mm -hmm. and said, uh, put this together. I mean, I shot the interviews uh, with help with Ryan and Amy and Victoria and some other people, but mm -hmm. um, just putting it together was was a test because, I mean, there's hours and hours and hours of footage. Well, who will this speak to? Uh, who are you guys excited about, you know, seeing this? What do you think, Brian? Well, I would say anybody that that obviously lives in this community because it's it's really kind of a history lesson about about this part of Davenport, mm -hmm. and it's, it's really uh, a lesson about the testament to nature, so nature lovers, history buffs, and really anybody that wants to restore a wetland and so we're hoping that this is going to go not just here in the quad cities but go nationwide we've already had people That's from cool. from the epa in denver that want want to show it and really? want copies of it so. thanks for bringing in this guy too he's uh, enjoying <laughs> the view very much who, who wants to tell me about him well, I just want to touch it. Just yeah. Please do, please do, Harry. Would you like to pet it? Yes, I would. I mean, he's he's, he's the real thing. He's the real thing. He came from a marsh, not not from Nahant, from a marsh nearby. Okay. But beavers are just such a critical part of wetlands. They're hmm. kind of a token species in that they their dams actually create wetlands. So I mean, wow, that's something. Yeah, they're awesome. Nature's engineers. Right. right. Yeah. They're also like. They help with filtering the water through the marsh. Hmm. Do you want to tell them about that? Yeah, they, their dams actually slow down the water. And, you know, one of the functions of wetlands, which we talk about in the movie, is to to clean the water. And the beavers actually help that. The, the fact that their dams slow the water down, let the silt filter out, and that's that makes them such a critical part of Sure. We want to let everybody know about the second film, too, which is about, you know, we know so many people around here who are into the river. They live on it. They play on it. So this is, this one is about uh, the life of a river rat. This is a BBC. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. This is, uh, the, the BBC made an Emmy Award winning documentary about the life of Kenny Solway, who just basically made his living by hunting, fishing, and trapping on the river for about 50 years up in Wisconsin. And it's pretty amazing. Uh, he's kind of billed as the last river rat. We know there's still a few river rats still around, <laughs> but uh, this is just a remarkable movie, a moving story about how, how people can survive with nature, not not working against it. Well, guess what? You get to see two films, two films, big premiere coming up uh, next week on the fourth. That's Thursday, five thirty and seven thirty. The two the two movies we're talking about right here at the Putnam Museum, the the, the giant screen there, and uh, you two have to be so excited about that. And congratulations! On, are, are you happy with how it turned out, Harry? Uh, I love it. I mean, I had we had the pre-screening this morning at the Putnam, and it just looked uh, phenomenal. Um, both films you're going to get. Uh, I'm just ecstatic for everybody to go. What a thrill yeah. that, that that your work you know ends up like that. And and as you said, Brian, it could go nationwide. There's there's national interest. And what you guys have been able to do right here? Without a doubt. So congrats on that, and uh, and everybody come out and support this. I just think it's a, it's it's great for our whole area. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Wonderful to have you both here today. And thank you, Paul. And Mr. Beaver as well.